Togo zani vokoko na vumkulu san monani dumelang abusheni lochani molweni trovela anovua. Well, today it is Sunday and it is Motivation Sunday with me, Coco Dinewo. Today I've got the beautiful thing to share with you, relationships. And it's amazing that I'm talking about different kinds of relationship. And I've got a relationship with somebody who is my camera woman. So my camera woman is Nozingo Mani behind there. So she's new because the... The original G cameraman is not available today, but I have to do each up each up whether he's around or not. We have to continue doing services and rendering motivation because people need to be inspired, ignited, motivated, encouraged to live the best life that they are meant to be because all of us are meant to be our best selves. That's why we attract relationships. So let us know because she's on the other side. If you can hear us properly, if you can see me, send us a high five, a love, a whatever. So my cameraman can also gain confidence. Good. Okay, I'm doing this thing. I'm doing it right. So we're talking about relationships. And I've been asked a lot of questions. What is a soulmate, Coco? What are soul ties? What is a spirit husband? What is a life partner? So I mm. want to unpack within the time we've got together just the differences in those types of relationships. But firstly, I want to say that as human beings, remember we are spiritual beings having a human experience. But as human beings, our essence is in connection with other people. And that's where relationship comes in because we can connect and commune and communicate when we are in relationship with the other so our driving force it is to be in relationship but then there is different kinds of relationships that we find ourselves in you know that because our spirit is yearning for something in order for it to self-realize therefore we attract particular people so we attract what we call soulmates soulmates basically means these are mates and a mate is a friend to the soul so somebody that comes and becomes in relationship or in friendship with the soul so that you as hum a human being you can self-realize meaning you can awaken to why you are here you can also sex is a self actualize actualization basically means then you can actually have a direction of how you are going to act upon why you are here so there are many soulmates and you can have more than one soulmate and soulmates don't need to be romantically involved it does not mean that when you say somebody is your soulmate you have a sexual relationship with and what is also important with soulmates is that they're not always a lifetime relationship they are seasonal they come for a reason and once they have served their purpose they tend to move away from your life so you could clearly say friends are soulmates because they come for a particular period then you grow up and you move out of high school or you move out of varsity then you become somebody else and those friendships we they don't exist anymore at the same intensity that they existed while you were still at school i hope i'm making sense here so soulmates come for a reason or for a season and once they have served their purpose they move away and soulmates are very intense relationships so when because not all your friends are your soulmates please be clear soulmates are when you feel like you are deeply connected you are drawn to that person you are meet her for the first time something happens inside you it's like goosebumps they happen when you talk it feels like they can read your mind they complete your sentences they can see into your soul they can see deeply into your emotions and that's why those relationships become so deep and so deeply connected that when you're just thinking about them they phone you when they come into their, mi their mind, something happens. So that's how deeply connected you are. But they're also deeply painful because there is a deeper connection that happens. Whether even in families, we've got people who are soulmates. They are here to wake us up. They are here to switch on the light. And soulmate relationship have a lot of ego attached to it. Remember ego, people call it edging God out or a false sense of who you are. Ego is attached to the external, how I look, you know what I drive, what I do as a job, and um, who I am externally is ego driven. But internally, 
it's not ego trip it's understanding the essence of who you are despite the titles despite the roles in which you play in people's life in society so who is Goko Dineo besides who Goko Dineo is to the world because this is just me in service this is me in a role this is me but then the essence of who I am cannot be put off by that particular role and that's why some people make it and when things start to fall apart they feel shattered because they have made themselves that i've made myself coco dinero i'm still dinero coco dinero i'm in service because i need to give service i am expressing what i am called to do through that role of being coco dinero so as coco dinero i'm going to attract people who are going to wake me up to the potency and the power of the gifts that i possess and when you wake up to lessons in most cases it is very painful because that's what happens when there's a shredding or an unveiling or a revealing of something something's gotta give i posted earlier on a quote from latsu that says painful endings yield new beginnings i'm outdoors so please mind don't mind the noise um so painful endings yield new beginnings so people who've come as soulmates and you will always be attached to your soulmate until you learn the lesson you need to learn so some toxic relationships that we have found ourselves in those are soulmates because what is the life lesson you need to learn to grow up what is the life lesson you need to to learn to change what is the life lesson you need to to learn to elevate from a place where you are at so that's why we